I'm acknowledged it was a failing. But for Americans who do want to go back to work, should they be able to have access to a test now? Should they yeah. know whether they've been exposed to the virus? Should yeah. they know if somebody's at the workplace asymptomatic sure. and, and they simply don't know? Or, or do they have to go back to work having faith in their leaders and you, Mr. President, that the workplace will be safe? Yeah. No, they don't. They have to uh, test if they want. You know, some people are strong believers in testing. So right now, for any American worker who's nervous about going back, if they want to get tested to see if they've been exposed to the virus, uh, they can have access to both the they antibody tests. They should have no problem. And they, they should have no problem. And as good as this is, we're even getting better. We came up, don't forget, the cupboard was bare. The other administration, the last administration, left us nothing. We didn't have ventilators. We didn't have medical equipment. We didn't have testing. The tests were broken. You saw that. We had broken tests. They left us nothing. And we've taken it and we have built an incredible stockpile, a, a stockpile like we've never had before. Many people have heard you say that along the way and have wondered, though, you know, you're three years into your first term. Yeah. You're now applying for the job again. What did you do when you became president to restock those cupboards that you say were bare? Well, I'll be honest, uh, I have a lot of things going on. Uh, we had a lot of uh, people that refused to allow the country to be successful. Uh, they wasted a lot of time on Russia, Russia, Russia. That turned out to be a total hoax. Then they did Ukraine, Ukraine, and that was a total hoax. Then they impeached the president of the United States for absolutely no reason. And we even had a 197 to nothing vote by the Republicans. Let me ask you about something, Governor.